Hey guys, it's Dr. Hansen with uh, Hansen Health Solutions. Listen, very cool research out of Harvard just uh, out within the last couple week or two. Um, essentially, they're looking at a couple things, but mainly concerned with cardiovascular risk. And um, this is all something that most people equate to, well, cardiovascular health or, you know, their physical fitness in some way. Usually what happens is people think, um, well, if I can do like my cardio exercise, um, then that's going to help my cardiovascular system. And research tends to use like a treadmill test or something along those lines to assess that as well. The problem is it gets to be really expensive. It's cumbersome, time consuming, etc. And um, it just requires a lot. And so what they found is, one, they were kind of looking for something that would be easier, more cost effective, etc. But two, what they ended up finding was um, something actually as a, a much better predictor anyways. So what they ended up looking at actually was push-ups. So come to find out, let me read this here, uh, men that can do 40 push-ups had a 96% reduced risk, reduced risk of cardiovascular disease events compared to those who could do less than 10. So that's about a 30 push-up spread, but if you could do more than 40 push-ups compared to people who can do less than 10, that would include, you know, zero, a 96% reduced risk of cardiovascular uh, disease events. Everything from stroke to heart attack to uh, what else did they mention? Um, anyways, that sort of stuff. Very, very cool. Now, there's a lot that goes into that. Obviously, um, anytime you do research, you have to consider these people's backgrounds, um, other habits that they have in their life, etc. And so, of course, you know, we take all this with a grain of salt. It's not this direct thing where if you can do 40 push-ups, then guaranteed you're just going to have a 96% um, reduced risk. But the research was actually very comprehensive. It was carried out over a 10-year period, um, a very large pool of people that they used. And um, they actually did, I would feel, a pretty good job of looking at, you know, all the different factors and whatnot, and, you know, factoring that into the math that they did. The great news for you is what this means is um, that independent of all the other stuff going on, if you focus on or you can get yourself to a point where you can do 40 push-ups or more, you know that kind of regardless of all that, those other variables, you're very likely to be at a, at a, in a tremendously reduced risk for cardiovascular incident. So again, we kind of look at the research and we think, well, I don't know if I can take that seriously or not, et cetera, because there's all these other variables to consider. What we need to be considering is, well, this is a huge opportunity here. And so even though we can't consider all the variables and whatnot, what we know is, well, if I can get to a point where I can do 40 push-ups, um, that's going to put me at a tremendous benefit or a tremendous advantage to people who can do less than 10 or zero. And um, this is actually something that might be or looks to be much more useful than um, kind of your classic cardio tests for, you know, cardiovascular disease. Anyways, hope that helps. Hope all of you uh, get started on those push-ups right away. I know I will. And uh, we'll talk to you next time with a, a research update um, within the next week or two.